Good afternoon, distinguished members of the press and to the audience at large. I'm very pleased at this particular point in time to be continuing what we have established in the last few weeks, and that is the rule out of our candidates. The first candidate who is going to be presented today is the candidate who is challenging constituency number 12, and that's Mrs. Linda Merritt, who comes to us with a vast amount of management uh, skills and training, and I'm sure she would use her skills and training to the dedication and benefit of the residents of constituency number 12. Mrs. Merritt. Thank you. Thank you. To the Premier and party leader, party members, party supporters, and to my family, thank you for coming out today in recognition of my announcement as the progressive labor candidate for constituency 12, Devonshire South Central. I'm quite pleased and humbled to be able to stand for my party, a party whose cornerstone has always been for the people of Bermuda, a political party who has always stood for social change, becoming a beacon of hope for the hopeless, an example of courage for those who lack courage, and whose primary mission is to replace apathy with optimism. This is an all-encompassing mission because if one Bermudian is not a benefactor of the riches of our island, then we are all disadvantaged. By way of introducing myself, please indulge me as I tell you about my roots in Bermuda. I am a seventh generation Bermudian and can look to my family roots to recall trailblazers and change agents. First, my parents, the late Lionel and Gloria Williams, who imparted to me the value of good work ethic. To my great grandfather, who was the founding member of the Devonshire Recreation Club, Reverend Rufus Stubble, who imported it to us the importance of visioning and having faith. To others, Mr. Wycliffe Stubble, Bermuda Workers Association, Mr. Frederick Furbert, the Barclay Institute. And finally, my cousin who's with me today, Mrs. Marva Stubble Phillips of When Voices Rise fame who with quiet confidence work with others to change the evils of segregation in Bermuda. And I appreciate her coming today to stand with me. For the voters of Constituency 12, I offer my many years of business leadership experience, both in the public and private sectors, locally and internationally. I am the Secretary General of the Bermuda Progressive Labor Party. I am an Assistant Vice President of Marketing at a leading insurance company. I'm the chairman of Air Advisory Committee. I'm a member of the Bermuda Health Council. I'm a member of the Immigration Board, and I'm also vice chairman of Pride. I look forward to looking and working with the voters in constituency 12. And I ask you to give yourselves a voice in government by electing me. I will be accountable to you. And to those voters who have already met on the doorstep and in the neighborhoods, I say thank you. Thank you because your support has been overwhelming to me. I eagerly look forward to meeting many more of you in the very near future. Thank you all and God bless. I believe you can readily understand why our committee selected Mrs. Merritt as our representative to compete in constituency number 12. The next candidate has already made a mark in Bermuda as a senator, young Senator Davida Morris. She comes bringing a fresh vision and a tremendous amount of enthusiasm, a wealth of knowledge, and we are very, very pleased to present her as a candidate for constituency number 22. Thank you. Good afternoon. I would like to thank the Premier Dr. The Honorable Ewart Brown, the PLP, my family and friends for showing their support and confidence in my capabilities as I stand here a candidate for Constituency 22, Paget East. I have lived in this constituency all of my conscious life and am deeply rooted in this parish. I live here, was schooled here and attended church here. It is my intention to continue to give back to the community that has given me so much. I must admit it feels great 
to knock on the doors of persons who have watched me grow up and ask them how I can better serve them. They know that I will ensure that their needs are addressed. Like most of Bermuda, Paget is a garden paradise. I will work hard to ensure that this remains the case, as well as seek to enhance the natural beauty of the parish. For instance, more can be done to encourage the planting of native and endemic flora in our area, not only enhancing the natural beauty of our neighborhoods, but also reducing the devastation caused by hurricanes and winter storms. More too can be done to improve the quality and security of the railway trail, a necessary precondition not only for our security, but also for the better enjoyment of our island's natural beauty. Traffic is a chronic problem for our parish. We are known island-wide for the bottleneck that occurs during rush hour traffic. I will work with the Minister of Transport to ensure that the concerns and needs of our area are factored in to the national transport system including the expansion of public transport, which would include the frequency of ferries and bus routes, as well as the use of minibuses and greater parking facilities for those wishing to utilize the ferries. By these combined measures, the impact of traffic congestion in our area could be greatly reduced to the benefit of us all. It is known that I am an advocate of the younger generation. I am grateful for the canvassing experience that it has allowed me to speak with persons on a one-on-one -on -one basis to hear and understand their views. Education is always at the forefront of their minds and I share their concern, thus I'm extremely interested in the diversification of scholarship opportunities. There are many students studying in fields that are needed in Bermuda that are not related to international business. They deserve the same amount of financial support as those who are interested in the business field. I have also noticed that the number of scholarships available dramatically drop between the bachelor and graduate level. I will work with the education ministry and private sector com companies for their creation. I am a person who has never believed in simply pointing out problems where they exist. I believe in finding solutions and seeing plans come to fruition. My neighbors in Paget East can rest assured that no, that no matter will fall on deaf ears and all suggestions will be met with an open mind. Constituency 22 is our home and I will not fail in my responsibilities to my neighbors. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Morris.